This time of year is all about finding your flow, as they say, but it's all too easy to get burned out, especially creative, creatively. My next guest brings the creative motivation to start fresh. From reigniting old passion projects to finding a new hobby to love, artist Natalie Malin has a few solutions that will help us break the creative barrier. It's so good to see you. Thank you. It's so good to be here. And it's wonderful to know that even hardcore creatives like yourself struggle with that motivation to Every start. Every day. Really? I don't think we talk about it enough. You know, it's, it's time to start like being more real about it. And I don't want to dwell in the down, but tell me what that feels like for you, like that creative slump, what does that feel yeah, like? I mean, they call it artist block, you know, it's like writer's block where you just have a blank page and then you just kind of don't know where you're going with your life and everything you draw is horrible or, you know, whatever, it's yeah. fine. And anyone can feel that, I think, on any level, not just reserved for professional artists. Definitely. Like yourself. Even more so, I think. You say just starting is often the hardest part. Yeah. Yeah, just sitting down and getting going. Once yeah. you're going, you kind of, you know, your brain goes into the other side. You get in the right brain and you start like seeing what you want to draw and visualizing things better. So you've got some, I don't want to call them tricks, more so strategies that yeah. you use to help you get up the oops yes. to start. So whatever your creative passion is, whatever your creative project is, it could be an organizing project. It could be anything. Whatever. Yeah. But this is how Natalie gets started. And I think a lot of women will find find inspiration in this. You have a creative folder on your yes, phone. Yes, I about do. This. I I am really big into the folders all of a sudden on my phone. Um, we call it a reference folder in art school or in professionally, but a creative folder, I like that so much better because if you have different things that you want to try or different color palettes, you know, people sit down and they think they have to have it all buttoned down before they begin. Mm -hmm. um, and you can just pull, like, I like the style of this, but I want to draw this in this color. You know, we've been talking about fun new colors for this year. And so if you have that together, you can kind of put it together and make your own recipe. So a reference folder area, you're like, I want to draw squirrels today. You just look through your phone, type in squirrel. You know, it can pull up all the different images that you have saved of yeah. a person or an item, food items. So you uh -huh. want to... You're just sitting there and you want to draw your lunch or whatever you have going on that day. Or you want to eat your lunch. I've, you known, I've lunch. known women do this with recipes, with yeah, flavors. recipes, flavors. If you're decorating a, a room and Pinterest boards. I have all kinds of Pinterest boards. Yeah. So many. I have one for gouache paint, I have one for watercolor, I have people, landscapes, places. Flowers. I love it. I yeah, love it. it just makes it easier to start. Just curate things that are catching your attention yeah. or sparking your art heart. Yes. And, and collect those in one place. Look at those, let those mm -hmm. charge you. You also keep an ugly sketchbook. I do. Handy. I keep an ugly sketchbook. What is this? It? This is just from the grocery store. Okay. Um, and I have a couple of them now because I actually really liked this. I've been talking to some art friends online about this too. And, you know, it's just those bound ones. You can just pull things out, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to keep everything in here. It's not a nicely bound book. I think this one was $3 at the grocery store. So you're just doodling, you're sketching, you're drawing. Whatever. You can put, your kids can put stickers in here and you know, you can just draw, you can just draw whatever you want. It's upside down, it's right side up. You know, my kids have stickers and fun things. So that's really helpful because it takes a lot of the pressure off making this masterpiece. We buy these beautifully bound sketchbooks and books and you think it's going to be in there for just paint over it if it's ugly paint over it okay all yeah. right so keep it handy pull it out use it often you like to prep for a project the day before like to get the juices going to get the ideas started yeah so i think my more productive time is generally speaking in the mornings mm -hmm. and so if i can get things ready to dive in or i'm excited about it the night before so at the end of the day i've put my stuff away cleaned up and I start prepping things for tomorrow. I'll do a sketch for tomorrow or put everything together so that I can walk in and just start on something when I'm ready to. You're and, ready you to know, roll. The best time of the day for yes, me. Yes, always easier when the materials, the supplies, they're all there ready. Otherwise, I spend the, the highest, most productive time of my day pulling everything together and yes. getting everything cleaned up and watering my plants and yes. all of that stuff when I should be doing that at the end of the day. All right, 30 seconds. Tell me about your snack trays. How does this help you create The snack tray. I love the snack tray. Uh, somebody said it's like Lunchables for adults. But I just, I put everything I wanted to eat, take it downstairs on a tray, and then I can throw it and clean it up easy and fast. And, and I just have something. Munching. Yeah, I always get hungry when I sit to draw, and I was eating a lot of really unhealthy things. So this past summer, I started doing this, and I just have snacks for the whole day. Okay, do you set creative goals for 2024? Do you have a goal that you're looking ahead to for the I, year? I set uncomfortable goals and really attainable goals. So my okay. goal for last year was to watch Netflix more and draw, and I did horrible at watching Netflix, but I, I drew a lot more, so it's great. It's well, and we're better because of that. You have a beautiful online shop where people oh, can I purchase do. your products. Yes. How can we look at your work? Um, if you go to nataliemalin.com, you can find all of the things there. I have a, a free print 
printable going up too as well that you can find. It's oh, really cute. planning printable. Yeah, planning. It's kind of a habit tracker type situation. That's It'll beautiful. help you out. I have it, your tote. I love it. Beautiful prints to look for as well. We'll link you over to Natalie's online shop from our website. And Happy New Year. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for having me. What gets you going as an artist?